Hello everyone, welcome to IoT Frontier. In this video, we'll look into how to install the very important Azure IoT extensions in Visual Studio Code and install Azure IoT Explorer tool as well in Windows. We will see how to create IoT Hub and IoT Hub device using VS Code and monitor the devices reaching to IoT Hub sent from Azure IoT Explorer. So stay tuned until the end of this video to get all the steps right. So the first step that you need is to download the VS Code. So you can go to the website called code.visualstudio.com and click on download for Windows and you can directly see the download gets started. So I have already downloaded so I can simply open Visual Studio. So once the VS Code is opened you can click on this icon which is known as extensions. So we need to search for Azure IoT and so once you search for this you will be able to see Azure IoT Hub. So you need to click on this and click on install. So it will also install some other dependencies that it has like Azure account and you can also find the various details of this Azure IoT Hub and what are the things that capabilities it can do we can see here and the step by step tutorial will be available here. Now once this is done you can go back to this explorer and immediately you can see Azure IoT Hub available here. So you need to first create an Azure IoT Hub. To do that you can click on create IoT Hub. If you already have created you can click on select IoT Hub but I don't have IoT Hub so I'll click on this and it will say that you are not signed in so sign in to continue. So when I click on this it will open a browser and I need to sign in with my user ID. Once it is signed in so you can see you can close this page try to click on create IoT Hub so it will show me what is the subscription that I need to use click on Azure for students that I have and if you want to create a new resource group you can click on new resource group. So I am using IoT RG1 and I will be using Central India. So maybe Central India does not support this so I will use East US and here a free tire and I will provide the name. So IoT Hub, IoT Frontier. So it is trying to create the IoT Hub. So now you can see IoT Hub, IoT Hub, IoT Frontier is created. So you can see no devices are available under this and create a device. So I will use IoT Device 1 and it has already created and even the generation id device id tag everything has been shown here the primary key connection string everything can be found out so the finally the connection string is also available here so once you have this device you can click on these three dots and try to monitor the built-in endpoint so once you click on this monitor, you it will start listening for the consumer group that is default. And if any kind of messages are receiving to this IoT hub, it will be shown here. So now I will use another tool that is called Azure IoT Explorer. So to download this, you can click on Azure IoT Explorer and this is the version that you can click and you can download the MSI for Windows. So it is downloading now. Once it is downloaded, you can install this as well. I can click on it and install it. So it is already installed and we can see you can connect with your IoT Hub with the connection string or Active Directory. So I can use the connection string. So I got the connection string while I was creating 
so this is the connection string of a device so i want a connection string of the iot hub itself so i can click on these three dots and copy iot hub connection string so and click on add connection and paste it here click on save now it, you can see what are the devices that are available and click on this so now what we can do is you can select this cloud to device message and we can type test message from iot explorer i can select this and send message to device so message has been sent because we are monitoring this we should be able to see this so instead of monitor the built-in endpoint what we need to do is you click on this device and start receiving c2d message that is cloud to device message so when i try to send this cloud to device message you should be able to see this message coming so you can see test message from iot explorer now i can send as one and send that so immediately you can see that test message explorer one as well being this it now we can try to send device to cloud message go to the telemetry and click on start so it will start receiving any kind of messages and here i can click on send device to cloud message so when you click on send it will try to send some messages so you are seeing 3 4 5 and nearly 10 messages will be sent so you can see all the messages are being received one by one so you, you can configure this how many messages and interval between them each one second you are getting these messages to the cloud so this is how you can send the message as well as receive the messages using the iot hub extension in vs code as well as iot explorer tool in windows so that's all for today's video i hope this video is informative and if yes please type helpful in the comment section below. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating more content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.